गुड मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट टाइम वी टॉक्ड अबाउट रिफ्लेक्शन इन प्लेन मिरर्स सो बिफोर वी मूव फर्दर लेट एस हैव ए स्मॉल रिकेपचुलेशन ऑफ वॉट वी हैव लर्न वी लर्न रिफ्लेक्शन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन लास्ट टाइम देन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द टू लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन द फर्स्ट लॉ इज एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज सेम एज एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन दैन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द इंसिडेंट रे द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे एंड द नॉर्मल ऑल लाइंग इन द सेम प्लेन देन वी ड्रॉ ए डायग्राम देन वी मेजर्ड एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन देन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट वर्चुअल एंड रियल इमेजेस यू हैव ऑलरेडी यू आर ऑलरेडी फेमिलियर विद दिस रियल एंड वर्चुअल इमेज इन यूर अर्लियर क्लासेस ए रियल इमेज कैन बी टेकन ऑन ए स्क्रीन ए वर्चुअल इमेज कैन नॉट बी टेकन ऑन ए स्क्रीन A real image is always formed when the reflected light rays they actually meet. A virtual image is formed when the reflected light light rays they appear to meet at some point. They never meet. So images are of two types: a real image and a virtual image. So taking it further, let us talk today about reflection in spherical mirrors. so spherical mirrors would be the topic of discussion today uh, we will uh, see how reflection takes place in a spherical mirror so before we move on we must uh, all be uh, knowing or we must all know about sphere let us talk about sphere first then we will talk about spherical mirrors now oh, i have with me uh, a pair of bowls if you see this these are two pair of, uh, this is a pair of bowls if i join them together i get a hollow sphere this is something uh, some sphere it looks more or less like a sphere it's not a perfect sphere but it looks like a sphere now this is hollow from inside it's hollow it's filled with air so this is a sphere now now if we take a part of this sphere let us say this is the sphere and we are cutting the sphere into two parts uh, let us say we take this part now if this is made of glass if this is made of glass you can paint silver from inside also you can paint outside also so if you are looking at the at the glass from this side i would try to paint it from inside if i want to look look from this side i would paint it from outside so this part would be um, can be made opaque or this part also can be made opaque so if i take a small part of a sphere we have a sphere from this sphere we are cutting a small part so we get a part which is this one so this is a part of the sphere so we take a part of sphere and we will we can convert this part of sphere into a mirror now if i want to make the inner surface reflecting if the inner surface is made reflecting if the inner surface is made reflecting we will call this as a concave mirror so how to represent a concave mirror if i want to make this as a concave mirror i would paint it outside with silver paint so this is painted outside so the inner part is the reflecting surface okay now if the, i take the same way if i take the same way and i paint 
slip inside the slit. If I do it this way, then which one is the reflecting part? The outer surface. reflecting surface and this is called as a convex mirror so in today's discussion what we are going to talk about is we will be talking about reflection in convex mirror and a concave mirror so before we go talk about the reflection in concave and a convex mirror we must be familiar with a few terms related to the spherical mirrors so the next topic of discussion would be terms related to spherical mirrors terms related to spherical mirrors the first one center of curvature which is represented as c now how to define this center of curvature now if you look at this sphere this sphere has a center let us say c this sphere has got a center c now what we have made we have made a concave mirror and a convex mirror from this sphere so this sphere was actually used to make these two mirrors so if i take let us say we will let us talk only about concave mirror right now we will discuss about convex mirror later on now this sphere this mirror is actually made from this sphere from this sphere this mirror has been made now this sphere was having a center c because the center of the sphere was c so what would be the center of the mirror then the mirror would also have the same center and this c is called as the center of curvature ओके, सो सेंटर जो पूरा स्पीयर का सेंटर था वही सेंटर इस मिरर का भी होगा क्योंकि ये मिरर जो है उस स्पीयर से ही बनाया गया छोटा सा पोर्शन हमने उसमें से काट दिया जैसे आप अगर मान लीजिए जो वाटरमेलन खाते हो वॉट वाटरमेलन इज स्पेरिकल सो अगर आपने छोटा सा पोर्शन भी काट के निकाल दिया तो इसका जो सेंटर होगा इसका जो सेंटर होगा और ये जो स्पीयर का जो सेंटर होगा वो सेम पॉइंट ही होगा और उसको हम बोलते हैं सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर ओके सो द नेक्स्ट डेफिनेशन रिलेटेड टू मिरर इज पोल द सेकंड डेफिनेशन फॉर दिस मिरर इज पोल व्हिच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज पी नाउ इफ दिस इज द मिरर वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट लेट अस से दिस इज द कॉनकेव मिरर तो इसका सेंटर कहाँ है इसका अगर हम सेंटर ढूंढने की कोशिश करें द सेंटर वुड बी समवेयर हियर यू कैन सी द मार्क इनसाइड दिस इज द सेंटर 
okay so the center of this mirror this point would be called like this is the surface pura ye surface hai aur is surface ka jo central point hoga this is called as the pole of the mirror so how to define the pole the geometrical center of the mirror is called as pole and it is represented by p so this is the mirror we have let us say this let us make it as m m dash to so m m dash ka agar hum central point nikalenge to wo aayega yahan kahin so this is the pole p okay now if you join this cp this becomes the radius of curvature this is r so cp is equal to r the radius of curvature of the mirror so these three definitions are clear to you now now in this mirror ये जो मिरर है हमारा ये मिरर है ये हो गया आपका पोल ये हो गया आपका सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर और पोल से लेके सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर का जो डिस्टेंस है ये रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर आप अगर सी से लेके एम तक लोगे ये भी रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर होगा सी से लेके एम डैश तक लोगे ये भी आपका रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर ही होगा ओके सो दीज आर द्री थिंग्स वी हैव लर्न नाउ नाउ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट टर्म द नेक्स्ट डेफिनेशन इज ऑफ the principal axis what is this principal axis this principal axis means a line which passes through the pole and the center of curvature is line which passes through the pole and the center of curvature is called as प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस तो हमारे जो डायग्राम है हम इसमें कैसे मार्क करें सेंटर ऑफ हमारा प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस को इफ यू ड्रॉ ए लाइन व्हिच पासेस थ्रू द पोल एंड द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस ऑफ द मिरर ओके नाउ एग्जैक्टली द सेम वे वी कैन टॉक अबाउट ए कॉन्वेक्स मिरर आल्सो लेट अस सी द कॉन्वेक्स मिरर नाउ ये आपका स्पेरिकल सरफेस हो गया और आपका स्पीयर बन रहा है इस तरफ इधर स्पीयर बनेगा तो सेंटर है आपका यहाँ सी और आपने इसको सिल्वर पेंट किया तो अगर आपको रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस आपको अगर इसमें कॉन्वेक्स मिरर बनाना है तो बाहर की तरफ से देखोगे तो ये आपका हो गया पेंटेड सिल्वर ही पेंटेड इस तरफ से हो गया और ये बन गया आपका पोल तो दिस इज द पोल पी एंड इफ यू पास और इफ यू ड्रॉ ए लाइन विच पास थ्रू सी एंड पी दिस बिकम्स द प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस ऑफ दिस मिरर एंड सी पी एज यूजल ये हो गया आपका रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर दिस इज आर यहां से लेके यहां तक हो गया आर रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर और इसमें भी यहां से लेके यहां तक हो गया रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर आर ओके तो दिस इज अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस ऑफ द मिरर सो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट पोल वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट 
the principal axis now the next one is aperture now in this mirror let us say this is mm dash and is isme aperture kya hai mm dash hai isme aperture kitna hai isme bhi mm dash hai par agar hamare paas koi mirror aisa hai humne itna portion nahi liya agar yahan tak hai maan lo ye pq तो इसका अपर्चर होगा पी क्यू सो द पार्ट ऑफ द मिरर द रिफ्लेक्टिंग पार्ट ऑफ द मिरर इज कॉल्ड एज इट्स अपर्चर सो हाउ टू डिफाइन द रिफ्लेक्टिंग पार्ट ऑफ द मिरर इज कॉल्ड एज the aperture of the mirror so in this case aperture is m m dash here also the aperture is m m dash but if i rub it if i break the mirror here till here if i make the mirror now this becomes aperture is m p so this is about aperture of a mirror okay aperture matlab jitna portion mein aapka jo light hai wo reflect karega that becomes the aperture of the mirror okay so let us move on to the next topic let us talk about some very very important terms now let us move on to the next topic which is called focus so first we will talk about focus in a concave mirror of a concave mirror let us talk about so we draw a mirror which is concave we mark the pole we mark the center of curvature and after we mark the pole and the center of curvature we draw a line this becomes the principal axis of the mirror this is the principal axis okay now let us take two rays let us ray take this ray as ray number 1 man lo ye M N है. Let us say this is M N is one ray, and we take another ray. Let us take uh, let us take X Y as another ray. So this is ray number two. So we have got two rays. two light rays parallel to the principal axis this is the ray number 1 and this is ray number 2 they are moving and coming towards the mirror now once they hit the mirror they would reflect back because uh, because we are using we are talking about reflection of light so here also in this case there would be reflection of light rays so for reflection of light rays we need to draw a normal first to draw the reflected rays so how to get a normal 
in this case in a spherical mirror we can write down a note any line passing through C is a normal so this is very important to remember any line passing through C is a normal so you can write it as a note so how इस रे के लिए हमको नॉर्मल ड्रॉ करना पड़ेगा तो नॉर्मल हम कैसे ड्रॉ करेंगे वे विल टेक वे विल टेक दिस पॉइंट एन एंड वी कैन जॉइन सी एंड एन सो दिस इज द नॉर्मल एन ओके सो सी एन इज द नॉर्मल हियर दिस इज नॉर्मल यू कैन मेजर दिस एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस दिस इज एंगल आई दिस इज एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस आई And because this is angle of incidence I, और ये ray का क्या होगा? This ray would reflect and move this way. This is the reflected ray. <coughs> this is the incident ray, and this is the reflected ray. Now let us take ray number two. Ray number two भी reflect करेगा. Now to draw the normal, we can join. Cy, this is become this is the angle of incidence I. Now measure this angle of incidence, and by measuring this angle with the same angle, we can draw the reflected ray this way. Now what is happening in this diagram? If you see, if you look at this diagram, the incident ray number one is striking the mirror; it is reflecting back. Now this ray number two. Is striking point Y and it is reflecting back. The point where they meet, this point is called as focus point F. So what is F in this case? F is the point where the light rays meet on the principal axis. The point on the principal axis where these two rays, after reflecting, meet, is called as the focus. So how to write down the definition of focus? It is the point on the principal axis where the light rays, where the parallel light rays. meet this is called focus and it is represented by capital f okay so this is the case of a concave mirror in this concave mirror the light rays are going after striking they are automatically coming and meeting at a point so since the rays are meeting by themselves since the rays are meeting are meeting after reflection we call this mirror as a converging so in this case what is happening the light rays are moving striking the mirror and after striking the mirror they are coming and meeting at some point which is called as the focus and this focus point is on this principal axis and because they are meeting we call this mirror as a converging mirror okay now let us move on to the focus in a convex mirror so you can note it down you can note down all these points okay 
focus of a convex mirror. Now in a convex mirror, uh, let us draw a convex mirror first. This is a convex mirror where the reflecting surface is the outer surface. Mark the pole. So this pole is at the center of the mirror. Let us say this is mm dash. The center of curvature would be somewhere here. So this is C, join P and C with a straight line. This is the principal axis of the mirror. Okay. Now what we do? Let us take two light rays. Let us say this is one light ray which is traveling towards the mirror. This ray is also parallel to the principal axis you can see this diagram let us say this is uh, x y and let us take another ray a b let us say this is a this is B, is another way. Okay. Now the same way we are having this incident rays. Now to draw a normal, we have written, written the note. Any line passing through the center of curvature is a normal. So how to draw the normal here? Now at this point, from this point C, if I join point C and Y this way, this is the normal. This is the normal at point Y. Similarly, I can join the C and A. This is also another normal. So, after we draw the normal, now look at this. This is the angle of incidence I. This is the angle of incidence I. Measure this angle of incidence with the same angle of incidence, draw the reflected ray. So, this is one reflected ray. You can see the incident ray coming and moving in this direction. The second reflected ray, agar hum yahan pe bhi draw karne ki koshish karenge, so this reflected ray would go this way. As it is, a reflected ray. Angle of incidence ye ho gaya. How to draw the reflected ray here? Measure this angle of incidence. This is angle of incidence, and with the same angle, this ray would reflect. Now, when you see these two reflected rays, the rays are the reflected rays are moving away from each other. The reflected rays are moving away from each other. Therefore, there is no question that these two reflected rays we would meet. Concave mirror mein kya ho raha tha? Concave mirror mein the rays were actually meeting after reflection. In this case, the reflected rays are not meeting. One is going in this direction, one of them is going in this direction. So, there is no question of meeting. But we can make them meet by drawing it backwards this way and the point where they appear to meet after reflection this is called focus so these reflected rays when extended backwards appear to meet at F. Okay. So the reflection
reflected rays are moving away from each other and the reflected rays when extended backwards they meet at point P. Now because these reflected rays are moving away from each other, this mirror is also called as a diverging mirror. Okay. So a concave mirror is a con converging mirror. A convex mirror is a diverging mirror. So uh, today's discussion, whatever we had, we talked about uh, some of the terms <coughs> like principal axis, center of curvature, radius of curvature. And we also talked about focus. Now here in this convex mirror, there is a virtual focus. But concave mirror mein kya tha? Concave mirror has a real focus. Rays are meeting after reflection. So converging mirror kis ko bolenge hum? Concave mirror ko converging bolenge or convex mirror ko hum diverging bolenge. So with this we uh, wind up today. In the next time, in the next video when we are talking about, I will be sharing a video next time. So in second video hoga, we will be talking more about these uh, definitions and then we will be using these definitions to draw various ray diagrams okay thank you and take care prepare these things as notes you can write down these things in your notebook and keep it ready thank you very much